YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. I know a lot of you all may have heard this video, and I want to thank my subscribers, a.k.a. my family, who basically sent me this video and said, Trey, you got to check this out because we know you're going to do some magic with this. Yes, we are going to perform a little magic right now, if you will. But at the same time, this guy, I don't know what the hell he was thinking or what got into him. And that's why I say you got to be careful. And I hope I'm talking to my spiritual people out there. Because if you ain't got no spiritual connection, you won't understand it. So you can cut the TV off or just look at it like this. But I'm talking to my people that hear voices. And I'm not talking about crazy stuff like go jump off a bridge. No, we're talking about that inner thing that we call our uh, conscious. You know what I'm saying? That self-awareness that we have. We also have that voice to let us know, look. Don't go that way. You ever been driving some way and something say turn around or detour? The next thing you know, you involved a car wreck or some mess going on or somebody waited to whoop your ass or something and you avoided that whole situation by the power of the most high. But yes, sometimes when you, when you hear things, you may think that it's, uh, the most high himself. And I'm talking to, to my believers out there. You got to be careful of what you take heed to. Yes, take heed to because not everything that you hear is a voice of righteousness. Sometimes you hear a voice in this to set you up. Sometimes we make voices appear our own. You know what I'm saying? Like you think stuff or you imagine things or whatnot. You make things happen. You know, like you could think that you heard something and really ain't no sound, but you convince your own self that you heard some. Those type of things. So you have to be careful and very aware of what you decide to listen to and take heed to. Now, this guy decided the best thing to do was to go out into the damn North Sentinel Island that's in a damn Indian Ocean Bay of Bengal and decide to preach what? The word. Yes, decide to preach the word Christianity. Try to bring Jesus to these people. And they says, and it's also, I don't know if it says this verbatim to my Christian scholars out there. So don't uh, stone me to death if you will. Don't cast stones on me. You feel me? But anyway, they have an old saying that the world will not end until the gospel has been preached all across the world. Yes, can I get an amen on that one? They said the Lord will not come back until everyone on his face of this earth has heard about the message, the word. So I guess this guy was just doing his part. He felt he was doing his part. But at the same time, you got to be careful who you listen to. God also gave us one thing for those who believe also, even though I don't like to say God, I say the most high. So we're just going to say the most high. You can call it what you want to call it. But anyway. He also gave us a spirit of discernment. Like some things you sh you should just know not to do. You feel me? And sometimes we think we can try to convert people. You can't convert every damn body. That's his job. You feel me? What I would have done if I decided to do that, I would just threw a Bible out there. Like, huh, and left something right here and got my ass back on that damn boat and went on. Now, this guy got away the first time. Yes, he got away the first time. And that was God's grace right there, like the song by Trinity 5-7. God already put his grace and mercy on him. You feel me? But he decided. The best thing to do, because the mission wasn't complete, he wanted to deliver these people to Jesus. Yes, he wanted to anoint them. He wanted to lay, 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 lay hands on them. You feel me? He wanted to just talk to them about the word. And nothing wrong with the word. But these people don't understand what the hell they were talking about. They never heard of no Jesus. They never, they, they never heard of no John Allen Child. That was his name. They didn't hear nothing about that. These people been on this island since, since the beginning, since the beginning, since the b beginning, if you know what I mean. I'm going to read a snippet from this story. And I'm going to give all of my opinion. Surely, as we go, American man killed trying to bring the kingdom of Jesus to remote island tribe. They weren't trying to hear that. I ain't going to say it because I don't want to say it because uh, the, the word and name. Anyway, John Allen Child wanted to establish Christianity on the Sinhalese people. And the Sinhalese people said, what? We ain't having that shit. We stuck in our own tradition. You feel me? You follow your way. We'll follow our ways. You feel me? American man. John Allen Child, Po Thing, Po 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 Thing, was on a mission to bring his version of Jesus in Christianity to the remote North Sentinel Island in Adamans, which is located in the Indian Ocean. Had no business way out there. You way in the Indian Ocean trying to find some bottles. Hell no. He was in the Indian Ocean's Bay of Bengal. Look at no damn Bengal tigers was out there. And home to the Sinhalese tribe, which is one of the few isolated tribes in the world. You also got some more isolated tribes in the world that's uh, down in South America and stuff. And these people be going crazy when people be flying over them. Never seen airplanes or nothing. You feel me? They they down on the ground and stuff thinking that all this Mayan stuff, these predictions like coming true and stuff, not realizing you have an outside society with advanced technology. But to them, you know what I'm saying, it's something new. Just like if, if we never seen a damn computer, in the moment somebody pop up with a computer, we'll think they... 
evil or, or some kind of magician. That's just the way the world is. Now, consequently, the 26 years old, 26 years old, just starting out, just starting out. All he wanted to do was just save a few souls was from Washington State and was reportedly killed. Yes, killed him. They killed him, Lord. In a series of journal entries published by the Washington Post, child wrote, Lord, is this island Satan's last stronghold where none have heard or even had the chance to hear your name? Didn't I say that already right there? Let me repeat myself. This is what John Allen Chow wrote himself. He said, Lord, he called on the Lord. Is this Allen Satan's last stronghold where none have heard or even had the chance to hear your name? <laughs> evidently it was. That's what B.L.'s above it himself right there, evidently. To be clear, Chow did not know what name was spoken by the Sinhalese tribe. So how can you communicate with them? Because we all, as a people on this, on this, on this earth, we all spoke the same language at one time. But due to the fall of man, a long little story, it's a long process. The, the way the disconnect was broke is by the language barrier. Because, you know, we already have color barriers, but if we can reason with each other, talk and communicate, you know, maybe we can break down these barriers. See, language is the number one common thing that we would share as a people, despite the color, because we all can share that. But, you know, due to what happened, I don't know, I can't really, understand, you know, explain it because it takes so much detail. You know, due to the fall of man, you have this language over here, Chinese, you have this over here, you have Spanish, you have French, you have uh all kinds of stuff. Pig Latin, you have all kinds of shit. You feel me? So that's how, man, it's disconnected because we can't communicate with each other so he's on this island with these people don't even know the language they speak or anything so how can you convert somebody if you don't even know the damn program language that they're using that's just like you trying to install a windows uh, application into a, a mac os system you try that and see what you, if you get any luck now to be clear child did not know what name was spoken by the Sinhalese tribe, considering outsiders do not know their language. And it is illegal to go to the island under Indian law. So why go there, child? Why go there? You should have just set yourselves back to the Washington and went and watched the White House sit on that bench with that sore ass. Now, the complete isolation of the Sinhalese people means contact with the outside world could put them at risk. Yes, they could lose their, what they call their, Ways, their culture, just like we lost our damn ways over here. Let's continue. That's too deep right there. As they are likely to have no immunity to even common illnesses such as flu and measles. The BBC report, like we can go over there with our germs and just wipe out the whole island. We could, <coughs> we could cough and they may get it and it spreads and we wipe them out. That bullshit right there. If that's the case, you don't think they get sick on their own damn island? And there is a such thing that's universal regardless of your language, your color is what we have in common. It's an immune system. Your immune system, talking about the flu and shit. And you out here taking these damn flu shots. I'm not going to go too deep now. Let's go on. Nonetheless, child was insisted upon going to the island. He reportedly paid for a small fish vessel to take him to the island in the middle of the night he wrote in his journal god himself was hiding us from the coast guard and many patrol now the coast guard were trying to save your damn ass or trying to save your life god was trying to protect you but no you want to hide and stuff you want to hide and stuff if it was that easy don't you think he would just made away you just float right on up in there and come on right on out that's all i want to know right there now he wrote that he was doing this to establish the kingdom of Jesus on the island, but that wasn't your calling, young man. That was not your calling, but you can believe what you want to believe. But evidently, it wasn't because look what happened. Do not blame the natives if I am killed. At least he had that much sense and shit. Show his shit stinking. If it don't, you better go back to, to the bathroom and check or to the doctor. They killed his ass. When he arrived on the island, according to his journal, according to his journal, these are not my words. He made eye contact. Yes, like Dwight and Mason made eye contact, and it was love at first sight. And tried to sing worship songs. He wrote, I holler, my name is John. I love you, and Jesus loves you. And they looking at him like, huh? All this shit. They, they, they look at him like, well, we finna stone the shit out your ass. You don't get your ass back on that vessel. So let's see what happened. The Sinhalese people were known to use bows and arrows and rocks to shoot and throw rocks at intruders. A teenager reportedly shot at him, piercing his Bible. Yes, pierced the Bible. That was a sign right there to get the hell out. But child left before deciding to return. He got away, but returned. That's just like you escaping 
hell than going back to hell. You feel me? What you trying to do? Now, he left but decided to return, even after such a clear warning. Yes, that's all the warning I would have needed. Oh, you're going to start throwing stones and rocks and spears at me and shit? I'm up out of here. Y'all can go down with when the earth can go down. I'm up out of here. I'm going to save my own ass. Lord, forgive me. That was all I would have been saying on the way back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for not letting me get a bow and arrow up my butt. Also, in his final entry, whole thing, on November the 16th, he didn't get to see Thanksgiving. Child wrote, you guys may think I'm crazy. Yes, we do. In all this, but I think it's worthwhile to declare Jesus to these people. Lord, have mercy. If this man ain't a mortal or whatever, if there is a heaven, please let him be up there because he, he, he died for the cause. That's all I can say. It was stupid. It was ignorant. But damn it, he put it on the line. The only we had some real preachers that believed in this uh, as much as child. The world, America, I say, the America, the inner city especially, would be a better place that we had these uh, black preachers and white preachers, Mexican, whoever decided to stand in the pulpit what had this kind of spiritual belief in conviction. Yes, I know the word. Conviction. As Mr. Child. And Mr. Child died for the cause. He is a martyr, regardless of what you want to say. He might be a stupid martyr. You might say, yeah, that's crazy. But he died believing in, fight for what he believed in. Let's just give it real. A lot of us won't even die for shit we don't even believe in. Now, he said, God, I don't want to die. But if I got to go, I'm ready to go. On his last trip, Child was reportedly killed with arrows. Pope, I ain't did them like the Cowboys and Indians. According to some fishermen, seven of whom were arrested for helping him get to the island, claimed they saw his body being dragged and then buried. Pope, man, he just, he came with a pure heart, but he left with it shredded up. Pope, thank when he ain't left, he's still there. Hope they can get the body. Golly, that's just a sad way to go because not to poke fun at the man, but damn, how you just, you know, how, how do you get like that when you see you see death around the corner, like Tupac said, and you still face it head on. I got to salute him. Or is it this? Yeah. Just like that. I got to salute him with both hands. You feel me? Because, damn, he died for the cause. He's got to be up in soul heaven right now. He's up there right now preaching the word. And I'm, I'm sure them gates open because if, if it's a real thing such as, I mean, how, how, how more serious can you get? Would you do that? Hell, I know I wouldn't. You feel me? Even if, even if my life depended on it. I'm like, shit, I'm not going to do that. Child's family released the following statement. And my condolences goes out to his family. You feel me? We recently learned from an unconfirmed report that John Allen Child was reportedly killed in India while reaching out to members of the Sinhalese tribe in the Adamant Islands. Even though they didn't know a damn thing he was saying. It's not the family saying this part. Let me add on to it. Even though they didn't know a damn thing he was saying, he still was trying to reach out. They just... Heard gibberish, just like, you know, if somebody comes speaking language, you don't know. You can be like, huh? Yeah. Words cannot express the sadness we have experienced about this report. They also asked for the release of the seven fishermen. And uh, they should be released because one way or the other, he's he was going to get there regardless. One way or the other, even if God himself had to drop him off there. I don't think God would, but I'm just using it as a, as a jokey joke, if you know what I mean. He would have found his way there. One way or the other, even if he had to get on a Murray speed, but be all over the road, all over the waves and shit. He would have got there some kind of way. Now, authorities said it would be difficult to find the body because they're not about to do what? Take their ass on the island. So they say, yes, it's going to be difficult to find the body. But guess what? We'll leave it up to God to make a way. He says also, we maintain a distance from the island and have not yet been able to spot the body because we won't take our ass on the island. It may take some more days in some years, if you will. Now, for us to do our uh, reconnaissance of the area, we got to scope it out. We got to go and uh, check and up on the every rock and every stone to make sure Mr. Child is not up on there. But we will find him, but we got to do some reconnaissance first. Now, local law enforcement said we have to take care that we must not disturb them or their habitat by any means. Yeah, you disturbed everybody else's habitat here on Earth. It is highly sensitive zone and it will take some time, which means not never. But hopefully, hopefully for Mr. Child's sake, because, he, you know, evidently the man was a good man. Let's just be for real about it. He was a good man, even though it's, it's, even though it's stupid to me. It may not be stupid to you. I'm not calling him stupid. But even though it's stupid to me what he done, even after getting away. We can return only to be killed. But it's a sad situation, though. Let's just be for real. You got to salute the guy. He died for what he believed in. It's not like he died trying to go rape somebody or murder somebody or some super. He died trying to 
preach the word to the people. He died for what he believed in, what he was taught. Now, our condolences go out to the family of John Allen Child. My condolences also goes out to the family also. That said, we hope the lives of the Sinhalese people would not be disrupted on a search to find Child's body or seek justice for an American who apparently broke the law. But how else you gonna get the body? Because the only way you can get the body if you do what go on the island and disturb the people. It just it was just a bunch of mess from the whole jump. But the point is, he died for what he believed in, even though it's a crazy story. It may seem funny, which it is kinda, and it's sad at the same time because he was a, he sounded like a good guy. Look looked like a good guy with a good spirit. But the point is that spirit can do what it can mislead you sometimes. Not not saying that what he did was wrong, and I'm not trying to judge the man, but I'm just using my own eyes, just like you all using your own eyes also. Would you have done this? Also, it would have been different if you got to go to Compton or South Central, or if you got to go to Tokyo or some damn well, but on a damn remote island, hell no. Hell no. At least in Tokyo, if somebody get on your ass, you know what I'm saying? Some Japan, some Japanese people get on your ass, at least somebody would come and help you, you feel me? On this island, you ain't, you ain't got no damn chance. Let me know what you all think about this video. If you like this video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and definitely share this video with your family and friends who think about going to all these damn different places that they shouldn't go. That's why I ain't like getting on cruise ships and shit. You feel me? Ain't no pirates on the Caribbean finna come get my ass. Till next time y'all say bless and watch your back, I'm out.